The IFSC has headed to Italy and back to the small town of Brixen to this incredible amphitheatre style stadium. The women qualified first, so let's start with them. Back after a rest from the last couple of comps is Hannah Moyle. She climbed four of the boulders with two flashes along the way, only failing to top boulder three as she qualifies from her group in second place. Stasha Geo seems to like Brixen and she climbed well. Inside of the top five and as always you can see exactly how Stasha is feeling from her emotions on the mats. Ayala Karem is always strong, and she managed to send tricky boulder A4, which not many people did, so we'll see her again the next day. It was awesome to see Elnaz Rekabi back at her first World Cup of the year. She didn't qualify, but we caught up with the Iranian athlete. Uh, I was really excited about my climbing today. Uh, it's two years that I was far uh, from World Cup and I'm really happy I joined other climbers. I will be until Villars in both bouldering and lead competition and it's just for qualifying Olympic, my dream. Natalia Grossman is also back after missing Prague. She was just outside of the top 10 but easily through to semi-finals. Just behind her in the rankings is Zhilu Lou. The Chinese superstar didn't make semis last week and is looking for revenge here. Annie Sanders, just 15, is the highest placing USA athlete of them all, just above Natalia, one to watch out for tomorrow. Whenever she competes, Australia's Oceana McKenzie, or Osh as she likes to be called, gets huge support. Now she's made it out of qualifying, so it was time for a chat. I mean, it's super motivating and I mean, just super lovely. I, after every competition, I go on Instagram and I have a load of messages and there's just so much support. So, I mean, it just really feels great. I had a pretty good preseason training in Japan, Korea and Switzerland. Um, and I also think I, I focused a lot on my mental health uh, through the start of this year and end of last year, which has helped a lot. I focused on enjoying climbing a lot more and I guess I had a little bit of burnout after the Olympics and that kind of thing. So I think a combination of all of these things is just, yeah, led to a really good season so far. <laughs> so let's look at the final results. Yulia Kruda surprised a few with a brilliant first place finish and will climb again tomorrow. Team Japan was strong with Anon Matsufuchi, Ryu Nakagawa and Melody Sikakawa in the next round. We haven't seen Luka Rakovic in a boulder semis for quite a while, so good to see her get through in 15th. Italy has got one home crowd favourite through, with Miriam Fugu just making it. And congratulations to Aida, whose 21st finish is the second best result for a Spanish woman at a boulder World Cup ever, and her PB. On to the men. And he may only be 16, but Serato and Raku is setting the climbing world on fire right now. Three flashes and five tops qualifies him in first place. Jan Luca Bosch is clearly feeling the positive vibes. His first final last week, and he's back in the semi finals in Brixen. Colin Duffy is just through. Only the final climb got away from him, and he's USA's highest male qualifier. Also through is Yannick Floe. He was super powerful on Boulder 3, fighting his way through and getting a top on attempt number 7. Team Japan have five athletes through, including the gold medalist from the USA, Tomoe Narasaki. It was a slow start for the comp for him, but he finished the round strongly with two flashes. 
Adam Ondra kicked off his season with a medal and he'll be looking for another here. He's easily through in the top five, only missing one climb, but getting two flashes. Max Mill is at his jumpy best, and it's good to see him climb again. He seems to enjoy the Brixham competition, and his teammate Toby Roberts is also through. We caught up with him after he had finished. It's been really great to uh, have such a great start to the boulder season. Uh, it's my first full season of World Cup bouldering, um, and it's quite a big challenge because it's very, it's very intense. I didn't know where I was, uh, where I was coming into it. I was a bit kind of. I was feeling good in training, but you never know until you actually get into the competition. So arriving in the in the first comp and then progressing um, pretty quickly between to get my first medal felt really good. Last week's winner Dohyun Lee cruised again today, first in his group, while his teammate Jong Won Chon will also join him on the mats tomorrow. So let's look at the final results. Maichi Narasaki beats his brother Tomoa and he will join that big Japanese team. Jack McDougall had an impressive climb and will be his first senior boulder semis. He'll be joined by Toby Roberts and Hamish MacArthur from Team GB. Alberto Hines Lopez, well, he had a good round and the Olympic champion will go again.